Welcome back to the Blender Frenzy Quarantine Series. I am Justin, and in the last video, we unwrapped our mesh into a flat two dimensions uh, so that we can paint on. And in this one, we are going to continue right where we left off and paint onto it. So let's go ahead and get started here by going up to the texture paint mode. I can either scroll in or if I go into edit mode, I can select my object here and press the period on the numpad. I'm going to press N like November, go to view and then clip. I'm just going to drag that all the way down to the smallest so that uh, the camera doesn't clip through my mesh anymore. Okay, now if I press A to make sure everything is selected and then tab back into texture paint mode. You can see if I tab, it goes back and forth between texture paint and edit mode. Um, and in the layout view, that's object versus edit mode. So it's a little bit different, um, but you can see in texture paint, we have this pinkish purple um, color around there. And that's because we don't have a material right here over on the side. It says our mode is material mode, but we, we don't actually have a material. So instead of material, we're gonna change this to single image and then we're gonna make a new image. So I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna title this placeholder. And you'll see why in a little bit here, I'm gonna just bring down the resolution type 512 uh, to do those both at the same time. You can just click and drag to both of them and you can change them at the same time. Uh, color is black. Uh, I'm going to uncheck alpha and then hit OK. And boom, now we have our black object. And um, over here we have the 2D image here, but it's using our old UVs. And the reason it's doing that, if we come back down to our object data properties, we can open up our UV maps again. And again, I'm just gonna close these here. And you can see we have our seams two selected, but what's being rendered here in our viewport is the original. And that's gonna reflect in our image editor preview. So I'm gonna click the seams to render button. And now you can see our seams to UV map, which we can now paint on. So let's go back up to our active tool and then scroll down and you can see this is our brush here. Uh, here's our brush settings. You can change those however you see fit. Um, but right now we have a white color. And if I just start painting onto my mesh, you can see after I let go over here on our placeholder image, we can start to see where we painted on our object. So I can go ahead and just keep doing that all over and wherever I paint in the 3D view, it paints in the 2D view. I can do the same thing um, in the 2D view, 2D view, 2D view. <laughs> and it will take uh, effect in the 3D view because these are obviously linked. And so if I continue painting around the top here, you can see that it paints around the top and I can go ahead and switch colors something like this. And you can start to see that I can just keep continuing to paint. You can change your brush at the top here. Uh, I can change this to a different blend mode. So I can do multiply, all the same things that you can do with like any sort of image editor like Photoshop or GIMP. Uh, the radius, I can um, make this uh, a bigger radius or smaller radius. You can also do that by pressing F and then moving your mouse left or right to change the size. Uh, I can change the strength up here. Changing the strength down here is Shift F and then that changes the strength. And again, if I move my mouse left or right, it will change the strength of the cursor or the brush here. Now, if you can't see the whole thing up here, just you hover your mouse over this menu up here and scroll. You can also press down on the scroll wheel and drag that back and forth. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of different options. Um, the stroke, the fall off, you can change the fall off, how strong it is. Uh, so this would be a pretty strong painting mode with uh, a very steep fall off. But then if I come over here and then uh, invert that. So let's check this one. And now that'll have a lot smoother fall off. So if we check, check, check blue and you can see that only in the very center is it being painted and then it has a, uh, a more prominent fall off there. So you can mess around with a lot of these settings. I don't know what a lot of them do, but that's going to be up to you to decide to do that. So let's just keep painting all 
on all of our uh black here our black image um just get some just various colors and i'm just moving my object and painting onto that um or um, another thing too if you have problems rotating um you can always come up here to edit preferences and then click orbit around selection now for some reason it doesn't tend to do that here um, you have to actually tab into edit mode and then rotate and then come back here and then it will it will recognize it but once you start painting for some reason if you try to rotate now it's not rotating around that selection which is annoying so tab into edit mode back into texture paint mode and then it orbits around that selection which it's a little bit annoying i think that's a bit of a bug but um uh anyway let's go ahead and um and i'm just scrolling by the way so if you can't see this whole thing here just scroll or again click down with your middle mouse and you can drag that up and down so um i can make this darker of course here and we have a paint uh, a little bit of a darker area there um let's do something like that and we'll just paint that oh uh, and then just change the size here to i just want to make sure i've got all of the black covered and this is going to be the bottom of our uh, mesh there i'm going to bring that i'm going to change that fall off here i want that fall off to be a little bit uh bigger so let's go back to this one there we go something like that and see that's taking effect there bottom yeah there we go uh now see it's harder to paint in here like this so what i'm going to do is uh, let's just paint on this here first i got to be careful too because if i overlap here it's gonna um overlap um you know onto my side there i just want to paint the top here so i just got to be a little bit careful on that all right, and so let's pick a brown color just to kind of paint in there, um, just because I know that's going to eventually be like a brown color. So uh, let's just do yeah, something like that, something like cardboard. So I'm just going to uh, paint that in there and just bring that down a little bit more. Just painting, painting, painting. And I like this because you can color out of the lines and it's not going to bleed over as long as you don't touch the other UVs. All right, so we got a little brown in there for some good cardboard color. All right, so there's our masterpiece. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so now we want to save our image. If you just get in the habit of saving this right away. And um, if you look up here, it says placeholder, and that's what... I titled this texture when we did it, and there's a reason I did that. If I click image here, you can see right next to image, there's an asterisk, 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 asterisk. There's a little star next to it. Um, uh, that's because we haven't saved it yet. So uh, I wanna save a copy, and I'm specifically saving it as a copy. I'm not saving it as, I'm saving it as a copy. And here's, I've, I actually did this tutorial before, but my my microphone wasn't working i had i had accidentally unplugged my microphone so anyway i'm gonna uh, uh save this as colors 02 and save image there we go so this is our colors 02 image but we still have placeholder here and we still have that star here is because uh we technically haven't saved this placeholder so if i click image and say reload then the placeholder will reload to the black image. Um, if I click undo, that's not gonna change it. So once you reload, once you change anything here, if you haven't saved it, it's gone. So make sure you save this right away after you get the result that you want. To reload our placeholder as well, you can press N to open up the properties panel go to the uh, image tab and then this will say single image because we had that on single image before and you'll just change that down to generated again and it will do the same thing it will reload that to black and you can change the settings from here so i'm going to press n again so now we have our placeholder now the reason that i didn't choose uh save as for my image and i saved this as colors two when i opened it up here if i go to open materials and then color two you can see now it's named 
colors02.png because that's how I saved it. But if I saved it as, this would say placeholder. So my, my PNG and my placeholder would be the same image, but it would be called something different on my computer and it would be called something different in Blender. So I like to keep the placeholder as a temporary holding space for our texture paint while we're painting and then save that as a copy uh, onto an image. So that's kind of my workflow. I'll let you play around with that, have your own workflow uh, to what fits your needs. But anyway, so now that we have our image saved, let's go back into our layout view and we are in solid shading mode. Now let's go into material preview and you can see, oh, nothing has changed. We don't see our color material. And that is because we don't actually have a material. So let's go down here to the material properties tab and then click new. I can either click new or I know that there is a material already created here. So click new, click material, it doesn't matter. Now we have a material applied to it. I'm going to just change the name here by clicking and typing mat underscore tp underscore o1 and now we want to change the base color from white because you can see that's what this is let's just bring this out a little bit here and um, check the button right next to the base color choose image texture and now you can see it's uh, done something over here but now we want to choose uh, we can either choose the placeholder, which used to have our colors on it, but since we reloaded it, it doesn't. So I'm going to choose our colors02.png. And if you don't see this in your list, uh, you can just, again, go click open, navigate to your materials, and then choose your colors.png. And now we have everything we painted onto our mesh. Oh, and something I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that uh, make sure you save it. I've changed my name of my blend file and I'm saving it as QS for quarantine series and then underscore TP for toilet paper and then 0102. And that's because um, this is going to be kind of the whole thing. It's not going to be just the UVs or the texture painting. I'm just going to kind of go with the whole toilet paper. So I'm going to save and I'm going to save another iteration here, 103. And now we can continue to the next one. Okay, so that is basic texture painting. In the next video, we're gonna take it a step further and use an image to paint onto our texture like a stencil.